In this video, you will learn how to access an API with Google Apps Script. This is our Google Sheets file. The idea behind this is that we're going to get the weather in real time. That means that the user or the person using the sheets can type in any city name and with our API, we will get that information about the current weather situation and write it back into that sheet. So let's start it off by heading into the script editor. I like to name my projects. You can also leave them untitled, but I like to rename them. Next, we're going to create a function. And on open function, this is a simple trigger so that we can have a custom menu, meaning that the user will use the custom menu to actually get the weather. So first step is to get the spreadsheet app, access it, and then get the user interface. Then we create the menu of weather and we add an item to it. We name it display weather and that will trigger the get weather function. So that is a function we'll have to create later on. And the last step is to add this to the user interface. Now we're going to create that get weather function, which is going to get data. And I think we can um, generally say that we're going to split this in a couple of steps, get data from sheet, get data from API, write it into the sheet. Now, what you see me doing here is um, creating a constant of the API key. So that is something that is in, in um, that you cannot change. That is uh, obviously not the correct key. So you will have to create your own key if you want to follow along with this. And I'll show you where to do that. The next step is to create our URL. So you can maybe already tell we're using the weather API. Um, it's called weatherapi.com. So that's the website. If you want to go ahead and look at it, save your project from time to time. And this is the API that we will be using. Find it under weatherapi.com. We will be using the free version, a million calls per month. That's a lot. Um, go ahead and subscribe to it, make an account, and then you'll get your own API key, just as I did prior to this tutorial. And if you want to test it and see how does or how should such an API call look, type in the number or your API key and then click on show response. And this call that you see here, that is what we need. That is the way we're going to communicate with the API. Now, in this specific case, we're getting an error because that is obviously not the correct API key. But just to let you know, that's how I found out how I need to interact with this API. Now, the next step is to get the information from our sheet. So we're going to go ahead and get our active sheet as we only need that one specific sheet and we're going to get the location. So the location is whatever city, whatever town that we want to go and get the current weather for. And we are going to get one specific range that is B1 and get that value. And if we have a look over here, there you go. B1, that is where our users are going to type in the city. So we have all of that. Now it's time to put together our request that we're going to send to the API for that. We need to put together the URL, the API key, and then a little string. So and Q equals that usually stands for and query equals our location. And in the variable of response, that's where we're going to get the answer from our API. So we're going to use the URL fetch app service and the fetch method. We're going to send in our request and that response that we're going to get. We can't directly use that yet in Google Apps Script or in our Google Sheets. So we need to use the JSON service, use the parse method and then response dot get content text. And that will give us the data in the form that we needed. And by the way, um, speaking about uh, API keys and you know how to authenticate, check out this really cool blog post by Ben Collings. I'll be linking it below. He describes four different ways how you can access APIs. In this case, we're using an API key. 
And here also the information um, on the guides, external APIs by Google themselves, how to use the URL fetch app, and also a bit below how to work with JSON and get it in the form you need it. That's where I found the information. Um, and that's how I knew how I need to write this script. Good. So first point is taken care of. Um, we got the location, we used uh, the, the API to get data, and now we need to write it into our sheet. For that, I'm creating on line number 19, an empty array, and then I'm simply pushing the data I got back from the API into that array. So first, the temperature in Celsius, then the temperature in Fahrenheit, and then we also want a description of the current condition. Now, if you're wondering what this data.current.condition.txt and so on stands for, that is from the object. So here is the response body for London. You can see that under current, we see condition, we see temperature. So that is the JSON that we're getting back. That's the information. And that's exactly the information that I'm pushing into this weather data array. Now I'm creating a second array and I'm pushing our weather data in that array. So now I have a two dimensional array. Why am I doing that? Well, because the set values method that we're going to use afterwards to write our data into the sheet needs a two dimensional array. Now here we're taking care of our icon. So in the JSON data we got back, there is also a URL to an icon depicting the current condition that we got separately in an, or stored in a variable. Here we're getting our target range, so where we want to write into the sheet, A4 until C4. As we see, that corresponds, no, not with D, but here, A4 till C4. So we'll be writing that into there. And we'll be doing so by using, as I mentioned before, the set values method. And as said, this expects a two dimensional array. Now, lastly, we want to take care of our icon. Again, first step is to define what the range is. So where are we going to write this into? Our range is going to be D4. So only one specific cell. And then lastly, we're going to use a set formula for this. Huh? So if you're wondering how do you set formula in detail, I'll be linking a video about that right now. Here we're using backticks. So we're using um, template literals so that we can pass in a string and in that string also a variable. And for that, you need to use the backticks. Huh? So these are not normal quotation marks. These are backticks. And we're using the image formula, which is built into Google Sheets. And we're simply passing in that icon, that URL that we received so that it can um, complete that formula. So let's save that. And let's say our user opens up the sheet for the first time or on open trigger fires. There you go. We see our weather custom menu, but let's write in Berlin first. Yeah, there you go. Then let's run this. Since we're running it for the first time, it's asking us to grant permission to access our spreadsheet. Click on allow. Okay, it halted the execution, so we simply have to execute it again. And there you go, including our little icon. So that's the weather in Berlin. Let's check the weather in Barcelona. Perfect. It's working just as we expect it to. And lastly, let's check the weather in London. Hmm, sunny. Leave us a like if you've enjoyed this video. And if you've learned something new, how about you let me know what it was in the comment section below. Have you thought of subscribing to this YouTube channel? I think that would be a great idea so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming video tutorials.